Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, what you saw me do last time was we got the uh, uh, we got these uh, gear legs both built, and then we got the other plywood. Uh, I was going to show you. It's actually right here. We got those all marked out, and then you can see that uh, we've got the inside uh, sealed with varathene. And then we have the uh, piece that's going to actually go on uh, sealed with varathene in the in-between areas. So now we'll put, we put epoxy on everything that's not sealed. And then when we put these two together, then we have a nice, uh, we have a nice sealed inside. So uh, what I want to do is I want to get those, uh, get those two epoxied on. Uh, so we'll be able to keep keep moving forward. And then uh, besides that, um, we've got some one by one uh, T6 here. And what we have to make is uh, we've got this bracket for the axle mount right here. We have to actually make four of those. And we'll need that in order to uh, make the hole uh, through the gear leg for the axle. So um, there's a little, uh, fixture here that you make to help you locate that hole and so we'll uh, I'm going to cut a couple of these uh, probably just cut all four of them at the same time and mark them out for, uh, for drilling and the typical practice is to drill them slightly undersized and then when you put them on the gear leg itself then you actually match drill you actually match drill through the hole. Um, so more than likely, that's what I'll do. I'll just go one size under a quarter inch, and then I'll be able to, I'll be able to uh, match drill this hole right here once they're both bolted in place, um, which, will be, uh, which will be helpful. And uh, then when you get it, on the uh, airplane, you do something similar when the uh, when you have to actually bolt through it, uh, drill from each side, uh, slightly undersized, and I drill through all of it at the same time. It's just a process that you'll see later on uh, how to how to accomplish that. But for now, uh, we need to make those so that when these are dry, uh, we can make those. All right. Cool. Uh, we got that epoxy together. I only did one of them, um, and then I'll do the other one uh, after we do some of this. But uh, we have to make, like I showed you earlier, basically, we're making these brackets right here that go on either side of the axle, and so we have to make four of them. And they're basically two, two and a quarter inches long, three quarter inches wide, and one inch high. So we start with one by one angle, and we just use these dimensions. So really, all we need is a, uh, just a square, square tape measure, uh, sharpie, and then uh, we just uh, mark it out. So first thing we'll do is get our two and a quarter.
actually need my other combination square. And that's just because I can shorten this up so I get a nice square line here. I swapped out my uh, my blade. I actually have my uh, blade that's specifically for cutting aluminum on here, um, and so we'll see how that goes. The good news is this, this blade works good for aluminum and also cuts wood fine as well, so uh, you don't have to switch back as often. But we'll uh, probably do that. See, I just get up next to the line and then I'll actually uh, just take a quick measurement see how it if I remove most of the line then I'm right on my right on my number but I'll do that over on the uh, on the disc sander and that way I'm also squaring up the edge nice um, I have to say that blade was really really sweet so I made a really good choice there uh, all right so we'll cut uh, We'll square this one up, and then we'll uh, we'll cut another one. All right. So the way I do that is uh, first first thing I do is I make sure that this is actually square, uh, and uh, it's not. So Like you set something on it and it tends to move it out of position. So it's always a good idea to check that. And then the other thing uh, that we'll do is uh, we'll set uh, um, set a board square to the edge here. A little smaller board actually.
now we just repeat that two more times. So now that we got them that far, uh, the next uh, step is just to, just to finish marking them out. And the first step in that is to uh, is to mark a uh, center line all the way across. So I'll get to. Uh, Inch and an eighth is going to get us our center line. I'm going to flip around here. Next step is the uh, hole for the uh, quarter inch bolt is 7 sixteenths up from the bottom. that reference point using our tri-square that way they're all going to be the same because we'll actually uh, make sure I'm marking so you can see what I'm doing here I'm actually uh, just lining this up so that I'm right on my mark there that's where I'm going to make my line And then we'll use that out here in the middle to draw our, our cross line. It's not easy to do at that angle, actually. Measure it again, make sure we got it right. It says uh, 7 sixteenths from the bottom.
All right, so that's that hole. holes. There's two holes here. Those are actually 7 16ths from the back edge here. So what I do here is actually measure the 7 16ths, but then I hit the line a little bit so that I have enough room to make my mark. Uh, so if I measure it with my eye, 7 16ths. So Alright, so there's just a couple of uh, couple of steps left to, uh, to get this handled, and that is uh, we go basically create the shape now, and that is to go an eighth of an inch either side of center on top. And then we go a quarter inch up from the bottom. connect the lines. And so now all we have to do is uh, we just cut these lines, kind of clean it all up, and then on the bottom here, just on the disc sander, we end up rounding off these two corners. Uh, then we smooth out the edges with some sandpaper, and, uh, and then we're ready to drill the holes, deburr them, and we've got a part. Right, next, uh, just take the sandpaper and uh, just get the edge off. Um, kind of all the sanding just leaves a little sharp edge, so I just make sure the corners are all rounded. And you can feel it right away with your fingers, so. Um, to get the drill press and uh, drill some holes. All right, so we'll drill the uh, quarter inch hole first. And uh, what I like to do when I first set up the uh, drill press is take the, uh, take the square and verify that the table is nice and uh, Nice and square. That looks really good.
right, so uh, the last thing I do is I use a uh, countersink like this, and this is really good at removing the uh, removing the burrs. It doesn't require a whole lot. I can't use that, I just grab a, a larger bit. And it'll do the same thing. There we go. All right, so thanks for hanging out with me. Um, so we got uh, that first leg epoxied uh, together and you got to see kind of the process for making uh, some of the mini aluminum parts that we'll have to make. Um, it's all, it uh, just all kind of goes pretty much the same path um, and uh, it's angle and channel and you just cut them and shape them and sand them and drill holes so all right so um hey if you're not a subscriber i invite you to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss any of my episodes and uh i'll catch you later